I'm joined by Dean Brennan, ahead of Barnet's fixture against Scunthorpe United on Friday evening. Dean, thanks for joining me. Obviously a great victory against Eastleigh on Tuesday evening. Your team must have dissected over the last couple of days. What are your thoughts after watching back the match? To be fair, I thought our fourth half was quite an even affair. And, you know, we spoke at half-time how we can get out of Eastleigh with the victory. And I thought the, the lads penetrated the game plan brilliantly second half. We defended excellently, to be fair, over the, the course of the game. We limited them to... The, very minimal chances. I think they had a couple of chances, that was it. And for us, we felt we had six or seven really good chances. So, great performance, um, great team performance, and everyone to a man stood up and, uh, and performed to the levels we needed to, especially second half. You described it as a tough and gritty performance. Is that what really required as we go into these difficult months? Yeah, look, I say it's winter time. I say that quite a lot. You've just got, you've got to find different ways to win football matches. It's all about the points now. Um, and every, like I say, every tackle, every goal we can see, the score matters. Um, so we've set ourselves a points target. If we can reach that, we'll have an amazing season. We go up to Scunthorpe tomorrow. Um, they're having a varied season, 23rd sitting in the league, but new owner just coming in, new manager, a lot of new signings today. Is that quite difficult for you as a manager to prepare, to prepare for? I've watched all Peterborough sports games. I've watched their, their, sort of their system, their shape, because that's where Jimmy Dean's come from, the new manager. Um, so I've watched the, what they do. So. There's no, no doubt he'll probably go back to type, but at the end of the day, the way I look at this game, it's like the first game of the season. You don't know what's, what's going to happen. Um, like we played Halifax here, we were unsure what they were going to do first game, and it's a very similar scenario to that. So, from our point of view, we've set really high standards, and we've got to maintain them standards, a level of performance. We know it doesn't always work that way, um, and we know they're going to come after us because it's, it's, it's a new manager's first game. That's a natural thing for them to do. So, you know, we're looking forward to the test. It's a good challenge for us, and uh, we'll see how we come, uh, we come up against that test. Don Revan went off on Tuesday evening along with Ryan Havilland shortly after. Any injury news for those two or any of the other players in the squad? Look, Dom's a muscle injury, so we're unsure what it is, what grade tear it is at this moment in time. It's a hamstring, so he has had a scan this morning. We'll hopefully have the results this afternoon. Um, Ryan is an impact injury. He has been x-rayed and scanned, so we're just waiting for the results of that. Um, we're hoping Ryan will be fit tomorrow. So let's just see what, what their results say and then take it from there. We've got a tough run of games in terms of distance and teams we're against. How important is it that you have a squad that you can really re rely on when needed? Yeah, like I say, some players might get an opportunity tomorrow. They probably haven't been playing of late. They've been working extremely hard in training. Uh, that's so important to stay on top of their fitness. The players that haven't been playing have been working like like pre-season hard. We've been doing a lot of running with them because we know they're going to be needed over this period. I love this time of year. This is what English football is all about. And, you know, we, like we say, we've got five, six games on the balance, five league games uh, away from home. Um, and this is the challenge as we set. And the good thing about stuff like this, when we travel long, which we're going to travel far together, you get more camaraderie, more togetherness. You get to know each other better. You eat together, you sleep together. So, it's so yeah, well, I'm not sure about sleeping together a bit, but yeah. But we do. So, um, I think that's a big thing for us. You know, I'm, I'm big on team spirit. I'm big on togetherness. And uh, so, yeah, so hopefully we can continue the momentum running at this moment in time. Dean, I always appreciate your time. Good luck tomorrow night. Well, boys, that's good as well.